The Thrive Accelerator, we run an annual program where we uh, reach out worldwide to find the best entrepreneurs and leaders in the ag tech area. And um, I'm proud to say that we've got three of our top finalists this year. We had over 140 companies apply to be part of our program this year from 40 different countries around the world. We've been working with Thrive for a couple of years and we've just really been impressed with the ecosystem that they've built. Their global reach, the quality of innovators and entrepreneurs, the investors that come, the industry partners. This is really a terrific long-term partnership that we're excited to support. It's working to compress the timeline it takes to get these technologies into the field, right, to iterate. Um, if you can get that performance data, and hopefully it's the performance data you want, your path to commercialization is quicker, that's going to translate into customers faster, and it's going to translate into financing faster. And I think with those two elements, those companies are going to thrive, and the ag economy is going to thrive further. So working with Thrive and other Silicon Valley firms, we're bringing over 30 products to market in the software industry for agriculture under our Answer Tech brand. And what that does is we help them get to market. We help them get to the farm acres that they need to get to to test the product for efficiency and effectivity, as well as help them you know, open doors that they might not have had access to in the past. So this really helps them you know, access a chunk of the market and helps us see these technologies in the field in a much faster way than they would have if we just had to wait for their own evolution. But the Thrive program has brought them together, has brought us all together, and then Thrive has really trained these people to hone in on what they can do and to convey that message effectively. And so we really need innovators to work closely with us. We need them to spend time with us. We need for them to walk our fields. We need for them to see our production cycles, our supply chain. So the more we can provide those uh, tech startups with a platform and an environment uh, to prove up their technologies, use the results in their fundraising efforts and otherwise, uh, we think that's a successful collaboration. It benefits us, helps us uh, introduce more efficiency, improve the quality of what we're doing, um, and uh, ensures that we can be a sustainable business. So definitely that Thrive understands the specialty crop space too has, has been really, really important. Probably two-thirds of the startups we've worked with have come through through Thrive. And it's not forced at all. It's just the startup comes through and we go, well, that's a really good one. And I think a trade association, PMA in particular, can help connect uh, some of these entrepreneurs to people along the supply chain. And it's not just growers. It's throughout the supply chain, all the way to delivery to the consumer that I think can benefit from some of these technologies. One of the best ways to have a seat at the table and understand what's available and what's coming up is to invest in it, to participate heavily in it. And so we invest as sponsors, we invest in the fund um, to help fund these startups, and we invest with our time and resources. We're looking forward to, to expanding Thrive, to expanding it to additional regions, to expanding it to a different, uh, additional crops, additional partners who may not be there today, and eventually additional countries. I mean, Thrive's done a great job of developing the marketplace internationally, bringing in partners and, and startups from all over the globe. 